Grace Harbor College is located in Aberdeen, Washington, and is the site of the unique Donald F. Samuelson Model Watershed. An undertaking of the college students, staff, faculty, and administrators, this project is a tremendous asset to the college and local community. A small microcosm of a much larger watershed, the Chehalis River Basin, the Model Watershed is a story of nature's recovery over time. Nearly two miles of developed barrier-free nature trails traverse the site for maximum public access and use. The John Smith Aquaculture Facility began construction in 1984. Completed in 1985, the facility has been designed to work on the gravity-fed water supply provided by Lake Swano. Unfortunately, the hatchery was closed in 2008 and many of its assets were sold or auctioned off. The building went unused until 2015 when Grace Harbor College biology instructor and a small army of volunteers cleaned up the facility and the surrounding watershed. The hatchery once again saw new life. Welcome to the Fish Lab. Hi, I'm Jim Minkler, the president of Grace Harbor College. We're serving uh, Grace Harbor County and Pacific County, and these are two counties that traditionally have been known for timber. Uh, and for fisheries. Uh, by reopening the fish lab, not only does it connect us to our past, but it really uh, is looking into our future and looking at sustainability, uh, looking at the beautiful environment we have here, and how to kind of reinvest uh, our current generation in that wonderful natural environment. Plus there's an opportunity to meet volunteers from the community, so community members that are not going to college and our own students are able to come together in a common cause and work for the betterment of our, of our community and our environment, so that's really special. I'm Emily Lardner, I'm the Vice President for Instruction. I think an exciting part about the Fish Lab for students at Grace Harbor College is it says learning doesn't just belong in the classroom, that in fact what you're learning has to do with what happens in the world. I'd say it's a um, mysterious and exciting combination of things. It might mean that you're taking thinking about fish in your biology classes. It might mean that you're doing volunteer work on Saturdays. It might mean that you're doing research over the summer getting paid for it. It might mean you're doing community service in the Chagulis River flood restoration area. It might mean a lot of things, but for sure it means super exciting learning with really wonderful people. The first objective of the Fish Lab is to educate Grace Harbor College students and the greater community about fisheries and our unique ecosystem that supports salmon habitat. These opportunities include hosting guest speakers, working field trips, and daily hatchery work. Um, I came to the college once in the nursing program, um, graduated last year, and I'm working as a nurse in the operating room. So first got involved with the Fish Lab when I heard about the hatchery down here was closed down and Joe, who was a classmate of mine, had the opportunity to come down and look at the building and talk about getting things going, getting them going again. Um, we weren't sure what, everything was dismantled. Um, met with Aberdeen Hatchery and then did some studying together on the correct way this was all supposed to be connected and how it was supposed to run. Uh, to educate ourselves in what we thought if we got this going we wanted to be able to bring elementary schools or have kids come out here and get them excited about it and having kids I know that they like seeing pictures and things like that and so we kind of thought it'd be a good a good thing to paint some pictures on the wall plus it was a little here at the time when I got was able to come down to the hatchery um, I didn't know a whole lot of people at the college didn't have a whole lot of friends um, which is kind of going through the motions of class and when I was able to come down here and start doing this as a group project and working with everybody, it made me want to be at the college more, which I think impacted my grades in all classes. My name is Joe Collis, and I am a Grace Harbor College alumni, and I am currently getting my bachelor's at Evergreen. Uh, I haven't always studied fisheries. I started off as a nursing student, and then the college kind of talked about reopening their hatchery and I started volunteering down here and it just, it fit me. No, I, I didn't really see myself getting a bachelor's before I started doing fish lab. But once I started working down here, I, it, it kind of drove my desire to learn more. And after I get my bachelor's, I'm still thinking about maybe getting my master's in pathology so I could do like fish health. Uh, one, one thing I liked, that the fish lab does is it, it unites a lot of people. Uh, the other thing was is I got to meet a lot of cool people and interesting people that weren't in the same classes as mine. Uh, 
I, I think the fish lab has greatly affected my career prospects. Through the fish lab, I've, I've gotten many of opportunities to volunteer at different facilities. I go and I, I want to learn more. And, and that's what the fish lab is. It's, even if it's not the field that you're studying, everyone wants to learn something else. And it's a great way to do it. My name is Ivy Bowers. I work at the Grace Harbor College Welcome Center as the program coordinator. I first heard about the Fish Lab when I started working here. Um, someone was talking about doing tours. Uh, the kids are really, the kids always enjoy uh, going to the Fish Lab, seeing the fish and hanging out with Amanda. Um, and it's really interesting to see how the students take it home. My name is Paige Pirock, and I'm going to school at Grace Harbor College for my bachelor's in elementary education. So placemaking is when students learn in a certain place. They understand the connection that it has with them, and they make that place, they connect with that place. If you just are sitting in a classroom learning about the environment, bees, fish, human impact on the climate, they're not going to care as much, they're going to be like, oh, that's interesting, and then it'll pass right on through. But if you go out into the environment and you sit them down, play with trees, leaves, fish, animals, they remember that and it sticks with them and they carry it with them throughout their education as they go, and they want to keep going out and doing the same thing. And when they do a lot of placemaking in one area, they get to go out and really connect with that one area. And so if they live in Aberdeen, for example, they develop a connection with not just the classroom, but with their environment too. My name is Erin Dilley Linton, and I'm the Associate Dean for Education here at Grace Harbor College. Um, so I uh, was involved with the fish release, um, and uh, I brought my oldest daughter, who is six. Um, she's in first grade, and she's um, very interested in the fish lab, and so it was a great opportunity to bring her. and. Um, uh, she got to help with counting the fish and inventorying the fish we were um, releasing and um, then we went for a little hike and, and had our jars of salmon that we went down to the creek and released. The Fish Lab seeks to build bridges between the opportunities available to Grace Harbor College students and careers in STEM and natural resource fields. This is accomplished through our collaborations and training opportunities, along with providing a supportive learning environment for all of our participants. My name is Tim Plotty, and I've been here at Grace Harbor College for three years. I am teaching biology and environmental science and anatomy and physiology. And the fish lab itself provides a great opportunity for students to get hands-on experience with a lot of different things. It's not just about the fish that are being raised, it's about generally integrating a lot of different sciences into one aspect. The primary purpose is to get students involved in doing science, and there's all sorts of different opportunities for volunteering. If you don't like fish, you can go out and maintain trails. If you don't like maintaining trails, you can pull invasive species. You can do water samples if you like chemistry. Uh, there's no one thing that the fish lab does. It's, it's an integrated process. Um, I'm Christy Barchinger, and I have lived in Grays Harbor and worked in Grays Harbor. I think the, the Fish Lab has had such an impact on um, the lives of people in the Aberdeen, Hoquiam, um, Cosmopolis area. And the, the way that I see that happening as uh, a science educator is it's, it's really helped students um, and community, community members make the connection between um, science as something that's not only in a classroom, but is just everywhere around us in, in the world and um, helping to bring the, the science of, of fisheries and of the riparian ecosystems and uh, this really amazing kind of unique place that is Grace Harbor to life. And um, students at Grace Harbor College community members know so much about the place that they live in and have um, often really str a strong attachment to the the area, um, the, the Fish Lab helps people realize that there are multiple different doors that are really available to them. Hello everyone, my name is Phil Slepp and I am a former Grace Harbor College student who graduated two years ago and I'm now working on my master's degree 
at Evergreen. Um, even the beginning of the city here in Aberdeen, people were just dumping their trash into the Wishkar, the Chehalis, and um, it is a tidal basin, so out to sea it went uh, to Ocean Shores in Westport. Twelve hours later, it all came back. So um, I got very interested in it because of Amanda's program with the Fish Lab, and even as we speak, I'm putting together a program tonight for my class to talk about that. Um, but I'm hopefully doing the positive side. So my name's Evan Bertain, and I'm a fish labber. So I found out about this. I was in Dr. Gunn's Biology 100 class, or still am, and she told me I should come down here because my major is actually law enforcement, which is a little different than what we're doing, but I want to be a fish and game officer, so it kind of ties in. And I'm always out in the woods doing this kind of stuff at home with a little less of the science aspect, and this gives you a good, just a good way to see how you can apply science to most things. You can take it and figure out, you know, what's in a stream, what's there, why it's there, if it should be, and just help the environment. And that's kind of what I want to go into, anyways. Just so, I think it's a good place to be. Our next goal is to help our participants develop stewardship and enthusiasm within the Grace Harbor community. To do this, the Fish Lab focuses on K-12 outreach, local stream cleanups, and tree plantings and nature walks. I'm Alice. Uh, I work for the grounds department. It's one of my favorite parts because I only do it, you know, three days a week. But um, it's something I can think about every day of the week. I can be working and start to rain on me. Instead of getting bummed out, I go, you know what? Water quality is going to be a lot better today. And I can just like look back at what I do in Fish Lab and think about it all week and it always makes me happy. I'm Jessica Pryor and I'm, and I'm a student at Grace Harbor College and I was originally a forestry student and I've recently switched to doing my pre-nursing prerequisites and I knew about Fish Lab through Todd Bates and Amanda coming and speaking to our class and trying to get us involved. I just really enjoy how Amanda's getting us involved in helping our community. It's really important to me to better the city that I live in and try to make Aberdeen a better place and she does that even with what she's doing in Fish Lab by getting us involved in other community events and cleaning up our streams. So one of the things that is really important to me about Fish Lab is we are the only functioning fish hatchery that has 75% of their volunteers that are volunteers that are female. Hi, my name is Maria Dididius and I am a student at Grace Harbor College. The uh, so many kids out of high school are undecided of exactly what they're going to do and this gives them a little bit of opportunity to learn something more and it gets their mind possibly thinking in a different direction. And so it opens um, their eyes to all the possibilities where they could go and have a different career opportunity. So it's really great. I brought my children here when they were in sixth grade from North River um, School and it was a full working hatchery at that time and Amanda is making that happen again. And my son has, um, he comes every Saturday uh, with or without a ride here, and um, he just really enjoys it. Hi, my name is Faith Matthews, and I am a student at Grace Harbor College. I am actually going into the dental hygienics program, so I have to transfer for my full degree. Um, I got involved with Fish Lab last year when I was taking microbiology. Amanda was giving extra credit, and so I thought I'd come down and see what it was all about. I actually never got the extra credit because I never did the homework to do that, but I ended up falling in love with it and I could bring my kids and they fell in love with it and then after that we were just hooked. My name is Maria. Um, I graduated from Grace Harbor Community College in July, which was great. I'm in the Bachelor of Health Science in Healthcare Management at Pacific University in Hillsboro, Oregon. I am Zia. Um, I am in second grade. I My school is McDermott Elementary. We have been here for the fish releases. Taking pictures of plants and bugs and finding out what kinds they are. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, we did that. And we helped feed the fish. Yep. I put my hands in the bucket and I counted all the fish and put them out of the bucket. Um, campus community, well, it brings people together because I think it's important. My name is Kyle. I go to AJ, AJ West and I'm in fifth grade. Uh, if you pollute water, it can kill them and kill their food source. 
I'm a fish lover. It's just a fun thing to do. I'm Clara Roush. I go to Simpson Elementary in Montesano. I'm in sixth grade. I came because I really like watching animals grow up and volunteer and help. My name is Helen Rash. I go to Simpson Elementary in Montesano and, um, and I'm in third grade. It's a place where you can go and really study animals. None of this would be possible without the restoration and conservation of our resources, including the Lake Swano Model Watershed and Alder Creek as a salmon habitat. Hi, I'm Janet Parker. I'm the supervisor in the grounds maintenance department. I've been employed here for a little over 18 years. The importance of the restoration of the trail, especially on our Lake Swano campus, is that we have a lot of native habitat, first and foremost, as well as vegetation that we really are responsible for protecting. My first interaction with the fish lab was uh, meeting Professor uh, Amanda Gunn. She uh, started to inquire about um, uh, getting our, our dilapidated somewhat building up and running and what this could potentially be for students and what it could potentially be for the campus. Um, they've monitored um, some of the things that are um, negative to that process and where is that coming from? Um, how do we treat that? How do we take care of that? Um, just um, cleaning up the outfall in order for everything to flow uh, clearly again was a huge undertaking and it's amazing the hours and effort that's been put into that to help us do that. The fish lab, we, you know, we rely, uh, we have native fisheries right out here on the Chehalis River. So if they can be a protector as they are, as much as we are also, together we can work and keep our food sources and our fish runs viable for our area. So I'm Echo Han and uh, I was a forestry, I was a forestry major and now I've switched to environmental science. And uh, the goal is to transfer for bachelors. Amanda is really great about taking our skill sets and translating them into projects for the fish lab. Uh, my name is Ted Elson. I'm a, a junior here at Grace Harbor College in the forestry program, um, Bachelor's of Forest Resource Management. Uh, my interests generally are um, silviculture and restoration. Um, I like mycology and I'm interested in um, wildlife management uh, to an extent, which is part of uh, what brings me here to the fish lab. The way I incorporate my skills into the fish lab is um, occasionally I'll give an educational talk around the, um, the model watershed. Hi, my name is Taylor Miller. I'm a student here at Grace Harbor College. I'm right now studying my, for my associates in business management. I'm actually also on the student government here at Grace Harbor College. So I first heard about the fish lab about, about half a year ago. And since then I have kind of like volunteering you guys should come and volunteer. For those participants interested in delving deeper into the scientific training, the Fish Lab provides opportunities for cultivating knowledge of aquatic species in their habitat. This includes research opportunities, stream and watershed monitoring, and collaborating with our community to grow from their experiential knowledge. Hi, I'm Lauren Thompson. I'm a student here at Grace Harbor College, and thanks to the Fish Lab, I'm working towards a degree in science. The Fish Lab Summer Research Program is a three-year program funded by the Rose Foundation. It's an opportunity that allows students to get the hands-on experience of conducting their own research in relation to the health of the Chehalis River watershed. When students apply, they are matched with the ideal mentors of the same topic of interest. It's an eight-week program that they meet once a week on how to read scientific papers and apply that to conducting their own research. At the eight weeks, a poster session is held open to the community. The community members are given an opportunity to learn more about our local watershed while researchers are gaining valuable presentation skills. The researchers are encouraged to submit their poster to the University of Washington Undergraduate Research Symposium. Hey, I'm Samantha Richardson. I was a Grace Harbor College student from 2015 to like 2017. I just transferred to the University of Washington. I did a research project over the summer. It was actually the first time that they were doing it. And it was a microbiome analysis of some of the streams around Aberdeen. We were looking to see how they were going to affect the fish and everything. Uh, I did that, and then we submitted our abstracts from that research program um, to 
ASM Micro, a national conference, and we got accepted. So we were able to go to New Orleans to present our research. And that and the researchers have really helped to get me into the program. Hi, my name is Mary Valentine. I'm currently a student here at Grace Harbor College. Um, I'm working on a degree in the sciences uh, to move on to marine biology. So I came back to school 20 years later after um, raising a family. Um, decided to go, I decided to go uh, after my lifelong dream of becoming a marine biologist. Not knowing, you know, at 40 years old if I had what it took um, to work in this field or even if I had what it took to get through the classes because they're rigorous. You know, when you're frustrated and tired, <laughs> you know, like, okay, I get to go play on the water though, so it's going to be okay. And, but now I have total confidence and I'm, it was fun to fill out a resume for, you know, the lab because I had opportunities that I could say, oh, I'm proud of this, like this, is, this fits this field. And so it was great to, to have that to put down. I'm Penny James and I'm the assistant to the Vice President for Administrative Services. I listened to some of our students give presentations with their poster projects and that was very interesting. A lot of students are getting involved with the Fish Lab and I think it's helping them see that there's a bigger world out there and there are other career opportunities for them. They would have never known that otherwise. They wouldn't know there were different ways to look at a science degree and they wouldn't have known that the fish lab, even if they're not interested in fishing or working at a hatchery, the fish lab is bigger than that. It can take them into a lot of different fields. I'm a fish lab. I'm a fish lab. I'm a fish lab. I'm a fish lab. I am a fish lab. I'm a fish lab. I'm a fish lab. I'm a fish lab. I'm a fish lab. I am a fish lab. I'm 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 a fish laver. Fish laver. I'm a fish laver. I'm a fish laver. <laughs>